The port of Malaga is an international seaport located in the city of Malaga in southern Spain, on the Costa del Sol coast of the Mediterranean. It is the oldest continuously operated port in Spain and one of the oldest in the Mediterranean. Principal port activities include cruise shipping and the importation of containerized manufactured products, brake bulk and vehicles. A small fishing fleet also operates from the port. View of the Alcasaba of Malaga from the port. The port of Malaga was founded by Phoenicians from Tyre in around 1000 BC. The name Malacca is probably derived from the Phoenician word for salt because fish was salted on the first dock. In other Semitic languages the word for salt is still Hebrew mela or Arabic mealmi. This first dock was a single waterfront quay parallel to the shore and extending for about 500 meters from the customs house to the Puerta Oscura. By Roman times Malaga had become an important export port for minerals, pottery, almonds, wine and oil. An Iberian delicacy was fish prepared with garum, large quantities of which were also exported to Rome. Trade continued to grow, peaking when Malaga was declared the capital of the Islamic Kingdom of Granada. When the kingdom passed into Catholic control in 1487 the port assumed a strategic importance as an embarkation point for Spanish soldiers in the conquest of the reef, Melilla, Pinon de Velas and Oran, and was renamed the Port of Malaga. The port of Malaga grew swiftly throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, establishing itself as Spain's major export port for cereals and manufacturers during the Habsburg and Enlightenment eras. In 1720 King Philip V appointed French engineer Bartolomé Thuris to prepare a project of port expansion for commercial and military needs, culminating in the construction of both the East Dock and the New Quay. The first lighthouse was built in 1814. Between 1900 and 1910 an extensive reconstruction of port facilities resulted in the modernization of the existing quays and the completion of the current passenger terminal. The Malaga Pure Tolano oil pipeline was completed by 1920, permitting oil exports directly from the port. After the Second World War the importance of the port declined as new ports opened in North Africa and the Middle East, and post-war reconstruction led to the massive expansion of facilities at Port of Rotterdam and elsewhere. The Pure de Tolano pipeline ceased operation in the 1990s. Port operations were concentrated around 10 wharves on the southern border of the existing port. The northern and central port areas were then progressively returned to the control of the city and converted for residential use. Moye 1, Shopping and Restaurant Area. Key 2. 10 wharves are currently in operation at the port of Malaga. The keys are connected by a system of internal roads and a network of internal and external railway lines. Access to the port is via State Highways A7 that runs by the coast, and A45. The internal rail network links the harbour services area with the Malaga main station. The port is dominated by imports, principally an annual throughput of nearly 2 million tonnes of brake bulk within a total annual throughput of 3. 1 million tonnes. Major imports include cement, clinker coal, cereals, grains, petroleum coke and fertilizers. A substantially smaller export trade is centered on processed food and construction equipment. The port handles in excess of 450,000 teos annually, and 39,000 vehicles. Liquid bulk handling is approximately 70,000 metric tons per year, principally olive oil import and export. Cruise shipping is also an essential industry at the port, with 211,000 passenger embarkations each year from more than 220 cruise ships. The existing Mario Lopez shipyard and ship repair facilities are part of the Surnaval Group shipyards, founded by the local naval entrepreneur. Mr. Mario Lopez on the early 80s, this installation has been a mayor player in the local marine sector for many years. And with over 40 ship repairs yearly with vessels from all over the world a very important asset for the port of Malaga, in future more investments are fixed to continue the development of this industry. City view from the port. An extensive program of works are planned for the port as part of a special plan developed by the city of Malaga. The Hirita Key will be refurbished to expand port operation centers and provide an additional 500 car spaces. The works are estimated at 33 million euros. A new passenger terminal, port museum and environmental education center are planned for inclusion in the cruise ship facilities at Key 2 at a further cost of 22 million euros. A commercial marina will also operate from Key 1, Catering for 24 superyachts of up to 30 meters, and the Eastern Key Passenger Terminal will be remodeled to improve pedestrian access and double existing capacity to 560,000 passengers a year. The total area of the new terminal is 1,270 square meters, consisting of two heights and two new berths, southern berth and northern berth with a total construction cost of 
3 million euros. Thanks for watching.